Uh, good evening. How are you? Walter, good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. So hi Walter, how's everything? How was your day? Ah, and day, um, uh, a little tired, teacher. <laughs> really? A lot of work? Yes, a lot of work in my company. Um, this the moment we had a lot of work and many activities. And tomorrow, teacher, uh, and we had a how do you say feria? Fair. Fair. Yeah, fair. Fair uh, entrepreneur. Yes, emprendedores. Yeah, entrepreneurs. Ah, entrepreneurs, oh yes, yeah, entrepreneurs. And a lot of food, a lot of food. Oh really, for that's nice. For, for example, um, pizza, um, panes con pollo. <laughs> Oh really? Oh yes, is is a uh, a lot of food and papitas, budín. Oh, fries, Ooh, fries, yeah. fries. Oh my God! And tomorrow is a uh, a very happy, very happy company. Uh, That's nice. For me, uh, the company is good uh, activity. As a region in Norway, we had a primate and um, fear and pertinence. And when we had a primate and fear uh, in pertinence. That's nice. That's nice. Yes, teacher. Yes. Nos quitan el pisto para que gastemos más. No entiendo. Yeah. It's good. Ah, ceviche. My God. Oh, oh my God. Really? Yeah. It's, it's a, a menu. It's very good. It's very good. Well, so yeah. nice. And I am glad to see that you really have fun at work. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's nice, that's nice. I mean, yeah. we need to take advantage of the opportunities we get, no? Ah, yes, it's the opportunity uh, for the employees. For the employees. That's excellent. Oh, oh yes. And, and, the, and all the cell is, a, a, how do you say, ventas or venta? Sales. 
Ah, okay, sales, sales, or the, the employees, the company. That's interesting. Oh. Well, yes. Yeah, that's cool. So glad to, to hear you. Happy to have you here in class. Welcome. Welcome, teacher. Thank you. Let's see who else is around. Mr. Osorio. Hello, how are you? Hello, I'm teacher. Fast. I'm feeling better, teacher. Oh, so happy to hear that. Yes, teacher, I'm no headache anymore. And my eyes, it's, it's stable. Thanks to okay. goodness. And I'm ready for the class. Excellent, excellent. So nice that we are coming back today. Yes, teacher. Today it was a different day because I tried uh, to get a lot of rest. And I feel good. And and we went out for lunch as a family, and it was funny. Okay, it was fun. It, it was, was fun. fun. It was fun, teacher. Thank you. Excellent, excellent. Well, I am glad to have you here in class, my friend. Uh, thank you, teacher. Oh, thanks to you. Thanks to you. Let's see, uh, um, Susana. Hello, Susana. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I, I try, I try you being teacher. Okay. We will talk later. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Nuria, hello. How are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know. T yeah. Teacher. I, I yeah. have a question. Yesterday I finished the platform, but I couldn't get a certificate because I got a, I got a note for or it says that I'm as I'm as a listener, and it's for that reason that I don't have to access to the certificate. No, sweetie, but in your case it's different. In this. In this uh, in these courses, the certificate you don't get it like that. The certificate needs to go to the to INSA for because they sign it and they send it later to you. I really, but I remember that the two before courses that I, that I received with English Corporativo, I couldn't get. I couldn't. I could get. I could download the certificate from the platform. And it was PNAT, the same course. Yeah, Inglés Corporativo. No, no, no. But Inglés Corporativo gives different English courses. This uh -huh. is PNAT. This is a, the national program for uh, English for work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. With INSAPOR? Yes, okay. But we also have different courses, like we got uh, English online. In English online, you finish the course, you get your diploma automatically. This program that we are in, that's why I'm asking you. Fue con el programa este, con estos cursos intensivos que son de dos horas, ¿no? Sí, sí, ah, no recuerdo si era. O eran los cursos de una hora. De una hora creo que era, teacher. Ah, ok. This, this is a different program. Su certificado de esta va en SAFOR por firma y sello. Ah, con I un didn't... montón, con un montón de documentos. Perdón que lo explique en español. Con un montón de documentos, no. que es lo que les explicaba ayer. Es por eso que debemos de tener todo finalizado a la fecha, porque se va el paquete entero, porque allá generan los certificados. Esos certificados no los generamos acá, nosotros. En la oficina, uh -huh. sino que va directamente en Sapor, porque vienen con la firma desde allá, firma y sello. Ah, ok, ok, perfecto, teacher, ok. I got it. Eh, well, so happy that you finished the platform, that helps me a lot. Yes, teacher, yesterday. 
because I, I understood that tomorrow we finish the class, right? Well, no, we finish Monday. Sunday, mo ah, okay, okay, but yeah. Monday, have, Monday is our last day. Ah, okay, okay. It's for that reason that I was running yesterday. No, no, but Monday is our last day and and that's why I've been calling some of you to let you know that uh, perhaps if you need some the minutes, remember that some of us have been absent for a couple of classes, and that's another of the requirements to to fulfill all the the quantity of minutes to get to the minimum required by in support. Okay, teacher. Okay. Well, so happy to have you here, Molly. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see. Ouch. Maria Alejandra, hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How, How are, are you? you? <laughs> I'm fine. You? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, same old story as usual. Ah, OK. But it's good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was uh, let's see, in the morning it was okay, in the afternoon, kind of slow day, a little bit boring, working, but a little bit boring, you know, the weather was not my friend, let's see, then uh -huh. I, here, I, <laughs> when I came, I, I went to the gym, I had a class, and then I got this class up, it's been fun. <laughs> Okay, teacher. But is uh, when did you final your day or no? Well, for example, in, for the class. Yeah, you know, uh, it's okay. It's a normal day. So, what about you? How was it? How was your day? Uh, it's good. I have a good day. In the morning, I hear I saw my father. I took a very fast in Pollo Campero. Oh, and, nice. and then I stay in the office with my father. And then I returned to the apartment and uh, uh, sería leave that or recoger a mi mamá. I pick up pick my up. mother, pick up my mother in my granny house. And then return the apartment <laughs> and take a I took a lunch and uh, take a little nap because um, in the afternoon I have a, a migraine. Oh really? Yes, but I think that is the weather because it's but is hot. It, is it under control right now? Yes. Mm, a little, uh, make, mm, I feel a little, una molestia, or como que me quisiera empezar de nuevo. Uh -huh, uncomfortable. But uh, I take, a, I took a pills, and it's better than in the afternoon. And then go to the La Gran Vía, because I bought a gift for a tea uh, for Sunday. Eh, uh, aunte. Oh, really? Uh huh. But That's this cool. a wedding tea or I like this. Wedding. Uh, wedding. Oh, como de de antes de casarse. I don't know. Oh, really? Uh huh. But no, no it's for me. <laughs> mm. Mm. <laughs> and, Come on, you know when people is going to get a. Uh, 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 to get married, when they are going to get married, what we do is a party. <laughs> yes, but it's before to the party uh, because the wedding is for April, April night or maybe. I have a time to prepare my stomach all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. this is the word, bachelorette party. 
example. Ah, bachelor party. That's despedida de soltera. Ah, okay. But is more. Eh, I don't know. But is happy. <laughs> In the morning on Sunday. <laughs> but, and then eh, went to the Andean. Uh, in the same place in La Gran Vía and take a dessert. I took a dessert or eat a dessert and only that. Then return uh, no, uh, return to my mother's house. I stay here uh, a little time because I saw my pets and then return to apartment and I stay here. I think that Return and yes, but only for the one when she when saw my father in the morning, I returned to the apartment maybe a.m. because uh, for my father is is neither or más cerca closer. Uh, is closer because my father live in Santa Elena and only down and pass for me or pick up for me and pick me up, pick me up and, and then return to my granny house because my mother and my sister stay here and is close because I live near to Paso del Jaguar and my granny live in Bello San Juan. Oh. Mm -hmm. yes. It's on the way. Uh -huh, it's on the way. Mm -hmm. But it's um, more move in different parts. And the reason why I visit or went to La Gran Vía only for the gift. <laughs> Okay, well, interesting. Thank you, Maria Alejandra. You're welcome, teacher. Okay, let's see. Amber, hello, Amber, how are you? Hello, teacher, I'm fine, what about you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know, here, same old story as usual. How was your day? You're on vacation, right? Yes, uh, my day was very relaxed because I I have, como sería, estuve en casa. I was at I, home. I was at home, but in the morning I went to the bank because I paid some bills. Mm, and that's, uh, <laughs> That's sad. Yes. I, yeah, but I have commitments, commitments. Commitments. Well, that's nice. That's In nice. the afternoon, I take a nap. I, I watch a movie on Netflix. Very quiet my day. Well, what about you? Me. Working, studying, a little bit of exercise, then working, and working. Well, same old story, you know. My life is kind of, it's not boring because I'm always on the move, but it's kind of boring because I mean, it's just routine. Ah, uh, okay, I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, well. but that's the way it goes, you know. As, you, as we were talking with you before, commitments. Sorry, can you repeat me, please? As I was telling you, commitments. I mean, I have a lot of commitments, so I need to, to work a little bit more sometimes, but that's normal. Amber, a pleasure to have you here. Thank you, teacher. Welcome. Let's see, Ana Claudia, hello. Hello teacher, good evening. 
What do you need? I'm sorry, Ana Claudia. I need to take the attendance. Sorry, ah, give okay. me a, just a second. Okay. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Thank you, Daniel. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. María Elizabeth López Perlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñato. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Arauco. Present. Present teachers. Thank you, Walter. So, Ana Claudia, tell me, how's everything? Present, sorry. Thank you, Fernando. Um, everything's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present. Thank you. Please continue, Ana Claudia. Uh, okay, so no, don't worry. It's okay. Uh, yes, just completing some trainings before the deadline, February the 28th. And just recently completed the last one. And then I, I connected to the class. It's, I like to, there are two types of trainings I do. There are some of them, I must do them early in the morning, first thing in the morning. But there are other ones that I have time to complete them during the month. And those are for the, for the company, for the local company, Concentrics, where I work. So they are about ethical, subjects or eh, multiple things. But in order to complete them, I need to connect to VPN and VPN. And that makes my other programs in the computer got stuck and it's freezing. So when I complete these trainings, I prefer to do it out of the shift because I know that I won't be hitting any incoming call or any email or any anything else. So that is why I was completing the trainings for this month and it was good. It was a busy time, but I already did it. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, you've been busy. Yes, a little bit. Teacher, <laughs> okay. I have a question with the yeah, word that you gave to Maria Alejandra is that can that be used for both male and no, female? No, 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 no. Oh. That's for ladies. Ah, uh, because I mean, there are some parties for guys before. Oh yeah, good ones. Oh yeah. How is the name of those? <laughs> Stag party. Would you please write it? Stag. S T A G. S T A G. Stag. Yeah. Mm. That's an animal I get. I don't know. Soltero. Okay. Bachelorette. 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 Así. Bachelorette. Yeah. Okay. That's a good word. Is that a word? Okay. Thank you. Stag party. Okay. Um, that is the only question I have. Okay, thank you, welcome. Okay, thank you, teacher.
Let's see, Erwin, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher, good evening. I'm really fine, and you? I'm just fine, just fine. You know, same old story as usual. Okay, nice to hear about it. What about you, how was your day? Uh, really busy and with a lot of work and activities. And as you know, I am working for a new restaurant and I am working um, in a lot of processes and in a lot of uh, things that the restaurant need to improve in order to uh, serve in the right way to, the, to our customers, our guests. Uh, it's not a hotel because of the number of the, the rooms, but we offer, we offer some rooms and we have seven rooms. So we are not cata catalog. 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 Catalog, catalog. As a, catalog as a hotel. But it's a, a lot of things to do, uh, including uh, they don't they don't have a, a how do you say recetario recipe book? Yeah. Okay, they don't have it, and I am um, working in a, in the cost uh, and some manuals and. Ah, everything in the restaurant <laughs> it's a lot of work but this is the best part that the, the part that i enjoy to to do these changes and uh, improve everything in the restaurant i love to do that yeah i mean that's the important part that you enjoy what you do yes <laughs> So in this week, um, I, I am working in, in uh, training to my co-workers uh, about uh, service uh, protocol. Protocol. Yeah, protocol. Okay, service protocol, how to serve our customers. Um, there is... Uh, uh, oh, there are a lot of um, steps, and you you need to maintain the order in these steps uh, to uh, to find the satisfaction of our customers. Okay. Uh -huh. No. no, no. Okay, I'm just thinking about something you said. No, I got it. I got it. Yeah, you were right. Thank you. Welcome to the class, Erwin. Always interesting. You will really keep busy. Okay, let's see who else is around. Who else has still got a few minutes? Uh, 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 um. Wilfredo Guardado, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Uh, great to hear that. What um, about you? Just feeling, um, uh, having having dinner with my children. We we made a a roast beef, and then it was very nice. And I'm so happy because tomorrow tomorrow is Friday. And uh, the week oh, yeah, it, is, yeah. it is near, yeah. And this week, teacher, it is. It was so, so hard, so hard, but, but interesting, because. Yeah, mm, and the good thing now, for you is that you, oh, you finished the platform already, right? Yes, teacher. This is my yeah. my commitment for this. So you are yeah. you are free the weekend. Yes, sir. 
Yeah, because yes, the rest sir. of your classmates is going to be like pushing and pushing and pushing. Ah, that's nice. That's nice. So you're going <laughs> to yeah, play because... this weekend? Excuse me? You're going to play this weekend? Yes, sir. Maybe I will start to play to, um, to Sunday too. Okay, that's nice. I don't know how do you do to play two days in a row. Um, I was, uh, it is, I have some habit teacher, habit, because um, I always play on weekends at uh, Saturday and, and Sunday. Um, then um, between, um, uh, uh, let me, let me, let me see how I can tell you. Uh, all with, um, Monday, Monday at night or Wednesday at night, I I usually go to play soccer too with my children. But now I prefer to go. Hello, teacher. Yes, I can hear you. You prefer to go? Ah, um, okay. <laughs> No, I am listening to you, my friend. Don't worry. Yes, but um, I, I told you that I prefer only go to play soccer only on weekends, Saturday and, and Sunday, because ah, uh, it is. I I I am I am forty five years old, and el cuerpo ya lo siente, teacher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, uh, the time. The pass of time, uh, it takes its toll. It take its toll. What I mean, teacher? Uh, when we use this phrase, we are we mean that uh, the uh, pasa factura. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. It is an expression. Yeah. I'm okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, of course it's normal, man. But you're still young, man. You gotta say that you're young. Come okay. on, man. because I'm pretty close to you, and I don't want to feel like that. <laughs> um, I I, I try to. I got you this chart. This chart. Ah, okay. But I I try, teacher. Mantenerme. To keep. How do you, uh, I, I prefer to keep doing exercise, uh, jogging, running uh, from my house. I, I, I can do it. But when I play, when I play soccer every weekend, I feel so good because I lost in three weeks. I lost. Let me see. Seven seven pound. Oh really? Yes. And I try to eat uh, so <laughs> so health, but it is so hard for me because when I I eat meat or or um, uh, let me see costilla ribs. Yeah, ribs. It is it is my favorite food. But we we try we try to 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 keep um so um so health. Yeah. Nice, Mister. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Frank. Hello, Frank. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm so-so, teacher. So-so. <laughs> it's not a, a good moment right now because I have a really... A, 
big pain or heart pain. I don't know oh, how really? this is. Yes, in my in my low back. So it's oh. killing me right now. <laughs> it's killing me right now. So I'm resting. Yeah, you gotta be careful with that. Yeah, I it's think that painful and uncomfortable. Yeah, very uncomfortable. Yeah, because I there's I not a, proper position. Yeah, and it it hurts when when I move. It hurts when when I walk too. So I have been resting in the bed since about 4 p.m. maybe till now. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. I think I did a brain and muscle. Yes, I think I did a a bad strength. I don't know if, if yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah, that that's expression why I'm telling you. exists. Perhaps perhaps you sprain a muscle. Yes, yes. Exactly. Yeah, that's but, a problem. But I'm here. Um that's cool, that's cool. Yes, besides that. I'm okay. Okay, let's see. I still got a few minutes. Hey, Nicholas, how are you? Hello, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Hey, hey. how are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Uh, today is a very interesting. It, it is very interesting today, uh, for two re reasons. The first reason is for the crisis, R Russia Ukraine. It is very interesting. It oh yes, the geopolitic is very interesting. The consequence in these countries is is a, a example in our our continent in my opinion of course well, uh, i have i have seen the news of the russian ukrainian war uh, the position of Ukraine, allied countries is interesting. Uh, is 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 very interesting. It's necessary understand the the, the politic the exterior politic is correct. Pitch? Exterior politic. Yeah, external. Ah, external politic is very interesting. Um, for another on. On the other hand, today was an interesting day. I I I work today. Work was uh, entertaining. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, us watching TV. Is 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 rarely. Is rarely this condition for me in the office. For me, is 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 working the in the communities out of my office because today is different. It is very interesting uh, the products today of the day. Do you understand me, teacher? Yes, I do, I do, I do. Ah, okay. And tell Is me, it... what's, what's the plan for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow and Friday. The same projects? Yes, tomorrow I drive to San Lorenzo, Japan. I am meeting with the, the major. The major? Yeah, the major. Yeah, with the major and with other persons. Uh, the reason or the objective is is uh, acordar 
Accord. Accord. Agreed. Agreed. Agreed, teacher. Yeah. Agreed. Uh, are we uh, projects? One projects in 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 one community uh, called called San Juan Buenavista. What in is it? in San Lorenzo, in San Lorenzo, Aguachapan. It's a, oh. a it's a little community. Okay. Uh, the objective is is introduce water. Mm -hmm. uh, introduce water. And the the major is interested in in prepare a, a project for the community. Okay, well, it's good to see that you keep busy, my friend. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me see just a little something, please. Bear with me for a second. Okay, Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Hello. How are you? Fine. Well, I had to do some things for my work, but <laughs> but uh, right now I'm in the class. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I have to because we move a webinar from today to tomorrow, and they send me the flyers, so I can do. I have to do the webinar from Facebook from to move the flyers on emails and to do something so i'm thinking about that so but my father is gonna to borrow his his computer so i'm waiting for that <laughs> to, to lend to lend okay to lend to lend me his computer yes to yes. lend me his computer so i'm just waiting that he finish his work and most of that, I'm, I'm just went to the job and uh, work as a usual, have a couple of things to do, but it was not so tired like the other days. I just missing that kind of work, but, <laughs> but everything as a usual. Okay, interesting, interesting. Yeah. And... Okay. <laughs> let's see, let's see. Well, welcome, Stefan. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, guys, let me see. Let me get ready. Here we go. Okay, welcome, all of you. I'm sorry, but I needed to check on something to have it ready for you. Okay. In the manual, in page number 36, we got us here, how to use adverbs to qualify verbs. Look at this, adverbs to qualify verbs. Look at the examples in the box. Then we are going to do an exercise, but here I want you to focus on the examples. We use adverbs to communicate these ideas, where, when, why, how, how often, how much or to what degree. They qualify the action and the claims we make. Organize your inventory efficiently. Okay, this is how. 
record information accurately. Check for possible improvement consistently. Revise processes slowly. Communicate with your distributor regularly. What is regularly in this case? Look, how often? Change your inventory practices incrementally. Now, this is very interesting. Look, many adverbs are created by, the, by putting together an adjective and adding the suffix ly. Efficient, efficiently. Accurate, accurately. Consistent, consistently. Now, let me do this like this. Okay. Now, the exercise, what are you going to do? We need to label the descriptions with the names of the steps to organize an inventory management system. Organize product and vendor information. Create and submit accurate purchase orders. Receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Tag and label inventory. Record your sales. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. Let me get the groups together so we can do that exercise. Give me just a second and check in this little something. Okay, groups are open. Please jump in for minutes for the exercise. Hello. Hello, hello. Okay. And number two, I create and submit a to buy a purchase order. Okay. 
product information, the scripting, and shipping info include as well the business name and business contact info. This is number one. I got to say the product. Yes. Okay. The other one, create and submit accurate purchase orders. Hello, Roxana. Hello, what good evening. What? <clears throat> good evening. What do you think in the create and purchase order? Let me see. For me, number two is organize product and vendor information. Yep, that is. Yes. What you got for number one, guys? Number um, one is record your sales. Perfect. The number three, do this to your inventory and it will ensure customer and cashiers are not all of your product. Oh, your product and vendor information, I think organized products and vendor information. Organized, yes. Organized mm -hmm. products and vendor information. Yes. Organized uh, product and vendor information. Yes. Get all your, your get all of your product and vendor information organized in that in and in one place. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, uh -huh. Get all your products and vendor information. Yes. And then do this to your inventory. And it will ensure customers and cashiers are not confused about the product price. Tag and label inventory. That's right. Tag and label inventory. Mm -hmm. Tag and label inventory. And then if there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase order to check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Eso sería... Eh, receive, espérame, eso sería receive inventory. Receive. Inventory with speed and accuracy. And the last one, incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases accurate and avoid confusion. Accuracy. 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 Okay. And, and we have missing... Number five? Yeah. Create. Incorporate a Accurate. Just create, let me write. Yeah, create and submit. Accuracy, and this is accurate. Accurate. Uh huh. It's right. I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Okay. And submit. Create. And submit. And submit. Submit. Yes, because I'm writing on the. On the cell phone with the with the pen. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, we finish. Um, I think yes. I think yes. Let me say this. And 
So give me a second. Okay. Okay, we're done. Teacher. Yes. Um, in the ac accuracy. Accuracy. Accuracy and accurate. What is the difference? Oh, okay. Uh, let me explain to you. Just a second. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah. Accuracy is uh, 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 exactitude. Mm -hmm. Accuracy or yep. accuracy. 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 Okay. accuracy. Uh -huh. And to be accurate is to be preciso. Uh, okay. okay. The only difference is that one is used as a, a as an adverb. Accuracy is an adverb. Right. Also, you can express it accurately. Accurately, yeah. But uh, the thing is this that they 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 are synonyms. So the 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 difference is minimum in the in the sense the idea you transmit is almost the same okay. let me check okay you got it you got them both where is it where is it where is it yeah and the second i think the second is create and submit accurate or just order accurate accurate yeah. uh, accurate in the third the third is accuracy okay depending on the now look at look at something look at something purchase is a noun yeah the adjective always comes before the noun oh, okay. Okay. accuracy yeah. is an albert but in this case, look, it's even working as an object, receive inventory with speed and accuracy. You see, goes at the end. Uh -huh. Okay, uh -huh. like, an, like an something specific. Yep. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, so remember, uh, it is saying, recibir el inventario con velocidad y exactitud. Exactitud. El otro, otro le dice, cree y submit órdenes de compra uh, precisas. Precisas. You okay. get the difference there? Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, you know, believe it or not, when you less realize, you are using them properly because with the pass of time, and and that also happens depending on the area where you move, because that's not like everyday vocabulary. It is for people who works, and depending on the company where you work or what do you do. Yeah. I mean, it's not vocabulary that you use every single day. On a regular basis, we don't. We don't speak like that. Yeah, I, can, I, I understand what you're saying. Okay, let's go back okay. to the main room.
Okay, guys, let's see. Sorry. Let's do this in the correct way. Sorry, but I guess I'm having problems here, but okay, here we go. Okay, number one. Fernando, tell me what goes in number one. In number one, we have record your sales. Number one, record your sales. Perfect. This right here is number one. Okay, number two. Let's see who's gonna help me with number two. Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia, hello. Let's see, Erwin, what you got for number two? Um, I think number two <clears throat> is organized product and vendor information. Okay, you are completely right, my friend. Okay, thank That's you. Number two. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who gave me number one? Fernando, right? Right, teacher. Okay, please, Fernando, read it. Okay. You want to record what product was sold? What the product listed price is discount and what price was actually paid for the product? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Erwin, would you mind reading number two, please? Uh, of course. <laughs> Um, organize product and vendor information. Get all of your products and vendor information organized and in one place. Product information, description, and shipping info include as well the business name and business contact info. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. Now let's see, Marta, number three. Okay, number three is tag and label inventory. Do this really? your inventory and it will ensure customers and cashier are not confused about a product's price. Perfect. Number four, uh, Stephanie. Number four is <clears throat> receive inventory with speed and accuracy. Okay, that's number four. Please read it. If there is a difference between the order you submitted and the actual inventory delivered, grab a copy of your purchase order to purchase, check and purchase. purchase Purchase order to check and catalog all new inventory before it is put away in the stock room. Perfect. And let's see who's going to read number five. Number five, we know, but it's uh, create and submit accurate purchase orders. That one goes to. Wilfredo Guardado. The last one, teacher. Yeah, please. Okay. Incorporate a purchase order system to make purchases accurate 
Um, let me see. And avoid confusion. Accurate. 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 Yeah. Um, okay. It is create and submit ac accurate purchases orders. Perfect. Thank you. Oops. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, now. Let's do the conversation, but before we do that, well, we need to get the attendance a second time. Okay, let me set this and this. Amber Elia Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Present teacher. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present teacher. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorte. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portilla. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present teacher. Nuria Elizabeth López Perlera. Present teacher. Rebeca Yasmin Montarosa Figueroa. Present. Roxana Ibeda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present teacher. Wilmen Frank Figueroa Peñata. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Marcela Noemí Batres Monterrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, let's continue. Here we go. Well, we got Steve and Anna. Steve and Anna are trying to find out the location of two products they received in their warehouse. Take turns practicing the conversation. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a uh, manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, guys, I repeat. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks but I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed 
in the round dot. Okay, guys. I'm gonna send you to work in Pivots. Okay, groups are created, please jump in. Thank you, Roxana. Let's check the groups. Okay. Um. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, hello. There's Daniel here with you. Hello, Daniel. Daniel. Hello, hello. Okay, let's do something. I will separate you guys. I will send okay. Daniel to another group and I will send you to another group. Welcome. Okay, thank you. <coughs> Two hundred wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? Two hundred wooden planks. Planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if, if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a for a crate. Crate. Crate yeah. of, el of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Let me see planks. What is plank? Plank, tablone. Yep. Ah, okay. And crack is una caja, right? Yeah. Un cajón. Crate. Crate, crate, sí, crate. Yeah, the, the, the big ones wouldn't. Ah, okay. Okay, uh, I start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't wooden, find them. Wooden, wooden, wooden. Wooden planks. Wooden Sorry. plank. No, that D pronounce it as an R. Wooden, wooden. Wooden. Uh, wooden. wooden. And plank, planks, plank. Yeah, planks. Planks, okay. 
Okay, it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got our them from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find, let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. But I can't find I can't find find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden plants, and it seems the create, Sierra, create, create, was create, right. was like, was placed in the ground dock. Okay. Yes. Okay. It says here is, sorry, it says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I call find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a create of electronic devices delivered from China a, a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20, 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Okay, let's start. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got our order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. But I can't China. find it. China. Delivered from China a week ago. But I can't find them either. Okay, everybody's coming back. Okay, let's start. Uh, Erwin and Frank. Uh, Erwin, you start. <clears throat> okay. Are you ready, Frank? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, it's, it says here in the inventory, that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. 
Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic device delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the wrong dock. Perfect, guys. And Fernando and Roxana. Fernando, you'll start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got another, we got an order from, um, from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find it either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were records as 20 wooden plants, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Perfect. Marta and Stephanie. Who is that teacher? You, Marta. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have to ponder what and plan, but I cannot find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden plants? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any vehicle here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a create of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago but I cannot find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as a 20 wooden plank. And it seems that the crate was placed in the round dock. Okay, perfect ladies. And let me see, Francisco, are you ready? Yes. Okay. Sorry, teacher. Uh, I just uh, a little busy today. Uh, okay, no problem, okay. no problem. No problem. No problem. No problem. Now let's see, Marta. Oh well, Marta just did it. I'm sorry. My bad. Maria Alejandra and Rebecca. Maria Alejandra, you start. Okay. Uh, it says here in the inventory that we have two hundred wooden plants. But I can find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables, but the way, by the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices. Uh, delivering from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the create was placed in the round duck. Okay, recorded, recorded. Recorded. Or record. Okay. 
Let's see. Next, 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 next. Uh, uh, uh. Ambar and Wilfredo. Ambar, you will start, please. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got another um, order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufactured tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The two, 200 water boards were record as 20 water plants, and it's in the create was placed in the rope dock. Manufacture, manufacture. And crate, number crate. Okay. Thank you. Now let's see, Daniel, are you ready? Okay, perhaps not. Hello. Hello. Are you ready for the dialogue? Uh, I'm sorry, I was in a call, but let me check. Oh, if you want, I can share it with you. Yeah, in WhatsApp, right? No, no, no. You can. Can you see it on the screen? Oh. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay, you and Walter, you are going to start, Daniel. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? And 200 and wooden planks. I remember we have an order from manufacturer. And let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for create for a for a crate of electronic devices delivery from China a week ago. But I can't find them either. I see the problem. The two one hundred wooden balls were a record as twenty wooden uh, plants. And it is since the crate was placed in round dot. Perfect. Just perfect. Thank you very much, Daniel. Thank you, teacher. Now, let's see. Let's see. Oh, my gosh. It's perfect. Right here. Jose Osorio and Nicolás. Sure. Who we'll start? Uh, you start, Nicholas. Okay. It says here the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture a table. By the way, the manager is also asking for a trade of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago. But I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks. And it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, thank you guys. And Nuria and Ana Claudia. Ana Claudia, you'll start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, 
but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks. I remember we got an order from a, manufac from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem that 200 wooden boards were recorded as a 20 wooden planks, and it seems that crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, perfect. Now let's see, uh, Shanira, are you ready? Okay. Marcela, and Ana Claudia, help me out, please. Okay. Okay, Marcela, you start. Okay. It says here in the inventory that we have 200 wooden planks, but I can't find them anywhere. Do you have any idea where I could find them? 200 wooden planks? I remember we got an order from a manufacturer. Let me see if I can find any record here. The order was from the people who manufacture tables. By the way, the manager is also asking for a crate of electronic devices delivered from China a week ago, but I can't find them either. I see the problem. The 200 wooden boards were recorded as 20 wooden planks, and it seems the crate was placed in the ground dock. Okay, perfect, thank you. Okay, guys, let me see. Not here, not here. Okay. Okay, guys, now discussion time. I'm going to send you to small groups and you're going to discuss this little question. We're going to talk about companies right now. Tell me guys, what do you think? Should companies only hire experienced applicants? Yes, no, why? Please remember the question is using should. I want to see should in your answers. I want to hear it, okay? Remember that when they ask us using a model, we respond with the same model, okay? Let me get you to the groups. But I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Please, let's jump in. Is one question. Mm. 
Should companies only hire experienced applicants? Could you repeat, please? Okay. Should companies only hire experienced applicants? Uh, I think that it depends. Uh, some companies prefer high experience, but others try to uh, give uh, opportunity to another uh, people with lower. Oh, okay. then I, I guess that show should be a good idea um, asking for for applicants and that they will have they will have some experience about job because mm. I, I guess that it is important because when the company need to need to reduce cost for example mm -hmm. if the people doesn't don't have any idea they have to learn but to learn in some places it is it's too expensive yes it is expensive mm -hmm. but then the another problem could be the the time because they, they have they have to work. no but i mean it's too expensive for the company because they will be not they will be like uh, not performing as expected and not giving like solutions yes. and sometimes that could carry that companies lose money yes mm -hmm. yes yes and so you, not, do you think that the company should hire just no, I think the same as Wilfred that it will be there will be a combination some specific areas. Yes, they need to hire people with experience or knowledge. Yes. How they do, but um, no, in other areas it's not necessary. You learn, for example, that is my case. I haven't worked in a call center sales before this job and uh, I had yeah. to learn uh, how to also how the the I uh, there are some speech the way how you talk over the phone is totally different that person to person yes uh -huh. they teach you about the product in my case I didn't have the experience, but they took the time to uh, teach me. And now here I am. Mm -hmm. And it, it always you learn. Uh -huh. in Ana, the, yes. Ana Claudia, in the, uh -huh. when you start in your job, mm -hmm. you, um, you have uh, tenias or you have mm -hmm. experience or you start? No, here. I just had experience in sales. I mean, um, I was working in sales, but door to door or person to person because uh -huh. Uh -huh, I was working for a funeral home and, uh -huh. and a, where, where I said uh, people without experience because people without experience needs, need experience and if all the company don't have a, a place for for them so they they never have experience so i think that uh, all the companies should should have um i don't know some places or or a program where where these people uh, can find an opportunity I was, I was there. <laughs> I was there in my, in, in some time. I don't have experience and I need a job and all the, all the jobs that I checking, uh, it was necessary to have experience and it was very complicated, but I found a company that um, gave me an opportunity. And company that have the opportunity to, to, to hire different persons. 
Ok. Well, uh, we, we, we can add to the answer. Okay. 60 seconds. Okay, let's see. Let's stop, guys. Uh, who's going to start? Fernando, tell me. Talk to me. Two companies only hire experienced applicants? What do you think? What's your opinion? Uh, I think that all the companies should have uh, uh, places for people without experience or a program that uh, with, with they can help these people because in this country it's very complicated to um, find a job uh, without the screening or without a uh, contact. And the, com and the company must be, you know, should be, um, I don't know, Solidaria? Sorry? Solidario, como se dice solidario? Solidarity. Solidarity, yeah. The company, I think the company should be solidary. Solidarity. That's his idea. <laughs> With people without experience. Yes, solidarity. Okay, perfect. Now let's see. What do you think about it, uh, Frank? Should companies only hire experienced applicants? Well, uh, we talk with, with the partners that maybe it depends of the, of the process that you have to do in, in your work. I mean, in some specific areas, is is very important to to have a little bit of experience and knowledge, right? So maybe it should be like a combination between experienced people and mm, people with without experience, right? Okay. Thank you, guys. Okay. Next question. Now, this is kind of tricky. Should workplace conduct drug testing? Some companies do, some companies don't. Mine. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Should they do it or not? Let's go discuss again. Five minutes, please.
and I can see uh, people is uh, como que estuvieran drogados. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, it is necessary for me uh, and the and the testing the drugs. Uh, what about you? No, Fernando, what? Fernando, Alejandra, sí. Alejandra, <laughs> no. Alejandra. Yeah, <laughs> no, no, no. Come on, guys. You know, I, I wonder, I just wonder why Stephanie is so quiet. Stephanie, Stephanie is busy. Oh, she's, 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 she's working. Oh, really? It's not a So, Marta, do you undergo drug tests in your company? No, in my company, well, in the in, in previous job, um, neither. No. A, any, I take a test for drugs. But I think so is very important. Well, depend. It's is very important because it's part of your health and in, in a family in your company. So it's very important. The environment is a good health um, for all people. I think so. Okay. What about you, Fernando? Uh, I told I told my 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 partner that I have experience with this kind of test because in my previous job uh, the company has uh, this practice. But uh, she they they choose uh, people a la sartige. Man, you always get me uh, randomly. Uh -huh. Random. Uh, random. Yeah. yeah, random. Yeah, they choose people random and they make a test for sure that the employees are healthy. <laughs> I don't know. Or free of drugs. 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 Free or drugs. Yeah, don't do drugs, Fernando. It's too few <laughs> and we are too many. Yeah. They didn't get me, right? No, not Peter. Okay, I told you, don't do drugs. It is too few and we are too many. Ah, okay, unlimited. <laughs> no, 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 unlimited. Okay, no. let me go check another group. Thank you, guys. When you start looking for is the safety. For example, in the workplace like Wilfredo, uh, they yes. had the machine. I think that they are looking for that mm -hmm. yeah, to I avoid guess. any accident. I but guess. Claudia, yeah. don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. <laughs> Not the <chef. laughs> no. It's I'm clean. It is, it is too few and we are too many. <laughs> I'm clean. <laughs> Oh my yeah, yeah, in my in my case, just once hey. by the, the test, um, sometimes the answer is is important in order to 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 know uh, the the complete profile of the of the person. Yeah. But,
Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, uh, um. Nicolas, tell me, what do you think? Uh, should workplace conduct drug testing? And for me, it's very important to uh, practice uh, this activity. Uh, principally in for the for the bus driver. Uh, for example, many many people what practice the with bus driver, uh, they are drug dr drugados. They are drugs. Then under they the are, influence of drugs. Sorry? Under the influence of drugs. Under the influence for drugs. Okay. Many people. Or, or, or if it's an informal conversation, you can say hi. Hi. Yeah, Only. Hi. Only hi. Yeah. This hey, person. Get... This they person. Are high. High. They are, yeah, they they are, are high. high. Yeah, that means okay. that they get they use drugs. Okay. Well, for me is is very important for for someone uh, someone activities. For uh, some activities. So, sorry, teacher. For some activities. For some activities. Principally okay, bo both right. Excellent, excellent. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see Maria Alejandra, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I think that depends for the companies or the areas. I only hear that uh, it, it, the employees take a different test for drugs in call centers because the people uh, don't stay here for a long time, um, but I don't have any experience to this test, but I think that it's in the blue or in la sangre, or I don't know. Well, not uh, necessarily. Uh -huh, but I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> Nada temo. <laughs> yeah, no comments, no comments. Okay, it was interesting, guys. Uh, but I still got another one for you. Now, this is very interesting. Tell me, are virtual job interviews effective? Have you had one? What, what's your opinion on them? Three minutes for the discussion. We're going to make it fast and I'm going to ask a couple of you when we come back. Hello guys, what do you think? Are virtual interviews effective? Uh, in my opinion, I consider uh, that if they are effective, uh, in, that they are uh, confiable, reliable too. A reliable like tool, but, but I don't know the criteria that the human resource using to to fulfill with, with some points of devaluation, teacher. Okay, yeah, points of evaluation. What do you think, Amber? Mm -hmm. It depends that you, for example, in my case, 
My interview was uh, called home. And now I have 14 months in the company without a problem. It depends the company or kind of job they offer. Okay, interesting. Let's go back to the main room. Okay. Let's see, everybody's going back. Daniel, hello, Daniel. Hi, teacher. Tell me, Daniel, what's your opinion? What do you think? Are big virtual job interviews effective? Uh, I believe that's right, but I believe it depends on the work, maybe, okay. of the job. Okay, thank you. Now, let's see, uh, Roxana, what do you think? Are virtual job interviews effective? Okay. Mm, to be honest, it, it depends. On what? Uh, because uh, maybe some departments or some bosses could you transmit and um, whatever they want but in another cases it's complex because it's more visual visual it's, it's a lot of visual so okay. i think that virtual interviews can be um, a solution when you don't have a lot of time or when you don't have um, a specific place to do it, but, but I prefer presential interviews. Okay, well, I agree with you. Guys, very good class. Uh, I'm gonna get the final attendance, just to remind you, nuevamente recordarles, no sé si ya recibieron el correo, si no estarán por recibirlo, donde están los detalles para la encuesta de satisfacción, por favor, recuérdense, eso lo llenamos juntos el último día de clases. Eh, el trabajo en la plataforma, por favor, necesito que lo terminemos, que avancemos. Eh, tenemos todavía un par de días para terminar. Les recuerdo que el día lunes a medianoche debo de tener esa información ya ingresada. Eh, let me get the final attendance, please, guys. Ambarelli Alfaro Gómez. Present. Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present, teacher. Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Present, teacher. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present, teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Present. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Present teacher. Marta Navelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Satilio Méndez Granados. Present. Nuria Elizabeth López Carlera. Present teacher. 
Rebeca Jasmine Monterrosa Figueroa. Present. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Francisco. Got you. Uh, Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía. Present. Stephanie Alejandra Salmerón Ibarra. Present. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Present, teacher. Milman Frank Figueroa Peñate. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Shanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Thank you, Shanira. Marcela Noemí Batres Montarrosa. Present. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Okay. Guys, thank you very much. Have a good night. Enjoy it. Rest. See you tomorrow. Don't forget, we got class. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night buddy. Okay, but it's a little bit too much.
phone. That was it for tonight. For tomorrow, guys.